We at Keystone Blind Association of Sharon, Pennsylvania have been playing a very easy but a fun version of bingo since June of 2008. These bingo sessions are held twice a month for two hours. We take a 15 minute break to discuss topics for our life skills class and there are usually anywhere from 6 to 15 clients at a time with three to four wonderful volunteers assisting the clients. Staff is always available to help with refreshments as well as picking a topic of interest to discuss with the clients. The video you will be watching will give you an idea of our bingo sessions. However, I'd like to mention a couple of things first. We prefer not to use the bingo cage or bingo balls. The bingo caller uses a master bingo board which comes with a set of cards, bingo chips, and cutout numbers. We find we can call more bingo games that way and the games go much quicker and there is less distraction without the noise coming from the metal cage and wooden balls. Several of the clients have hearing issues as well as the visual impairments. Watch closely. We love to spice up the game and you will observe the various ways to play besides straight line bingo and the coverall. The volunteers are using the buddy bingo concept. They sit between two of the clients and help them when needed. Even with their visual impairments, they, for the most part, need very little assistance. Take an even closer look. Our group is made up of all ages from 20 year olds to the 90 plus year olds. And some have other special needs as well. At the beginning we warm up with simple straight line bingo. It's announced and a sign is held up at the same time. Okay, as we always do our very first game, we're going to play regular bingo, which is row, column, diagonal, or four corners. So you're going to play the left and the right side of the card. And the winner will be whoever has a row, column, diagonal, four corners. And as we always do, uh, we usually have two winners. Okay. The clients love it when the game starts with a wild number. For patterns and the coverall, two or three wild numbers are called. All right, Let me see what is. the first wild oh, number you... is. Okay. If you have the number 34, put your bingo chip down. No. And then the any four, number Jeffrey, that yeah. ends in Anything a four, the four. including the four. Here. And then the four. In talking with the clients, they not only enjoy bingo, but they look forward to getting out and socializing. Several clients have made lasting friendships among themselves. Several times throughout, the bingo caller will ask everyone to change to a specific card. In this case, it's the card with the pink background behind the word bingo. This game will be regular straight bingo without the four corners. Instead of calling a wild number, mirror numbers and double numbers will be called. Mm -hmm. We're going to do mirror numbers and double numbers, okay? What are we looking and, for? No, well, I'm going to tell you right now, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to do mirror numbers and then double numbers. Now, what I mean by double numbers, here we go. All right, if you have a B11, put it down. B11. No, one one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then the next double number is I-22. I-22. Then we have an N-33. N-33. 
I thought she was just... And that's it. It's going to be all double numbers. Okay. Oh, well, I think it's four. Oh, oh I called for it, yeah. yeah. Another N, N41. N41. Bingo. You got it. Bingo. Bingo. All right. Yeah. Yay. Okay. Keep pattern, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. After last winter, Bingo Caller is requesting that everyone flip their card for the next game. You want a second game. Okay. Clear your boards. I want you to stay on the same card and flip the cards. I-18. I-1-8. B-3. Bingo. Oh, 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 All right. You want to call this number seven? Another bingo session has come to an end. Each flip bingo session continues to evolve with new clients participating all the time. As one client said, it doesn't matter if I win all the time. I just love to come and be with other people that are like me and understand me. One thing she wants everyone to know, she doesn't have a disability. She has the ability to be like everyone else. Whether you are a nonprofit or a volunteer, in closing, I will be more than happy to help you start a successful pastime activity like Flip Bingo. Contact us at flipbingo at live.com or please visit our website www.flipbingo.com for more information about our other activity products. Thank you.